This morning, Sphinx is feeling particularly peaceful within himself. Yeah, sweeping, humble level. Got peace alley covered. Got lad covered. Yeah, profoundly strengthening his soul. He wonders, was my compulsive uh, wish to unravel the centuries-old mystery of the molding hashish? Was that some kind of uh, selfish ego trip? I mean, the kind of sidetracked me from getting the real juice from, from Omar. Oh, he smiles. He, now he thinks back. Uh, He's thinking back about the first times uh, people turn on. He thinks back to his father, uh, Tutankhamun, in the 1930s, uh, was the ambassador, Egyptian ambassador to the United States, the, the West Coast Embassy in San Francisco. And Tutankhamun loves jazz, jazz aficionado, yeah. And then, okay, Omer comes through on his uh, Selmer, Mark IV, baritone, with the jazz club, uh, band and uh, oh yeah, in common oh yeah, and then what? Omar is picks him out of a crowd, huh? Backstage, oh wow, I mean, dude, oh huh? <laughs> yeah, uh, backstage, uh, Omar turns him on. He's got the amber chill him up. He's filming over with Pakistani. He pressed it himself. And, uh, whoa, uh, yeah, uh, Omar inhales uh, backstage. <sighs> Chill him. <sighs> it's a cylindrical clay pipe. The yogi kid is a travel woga. <sighs> and the colors, uh, everything becomes surreal, brilliantly colored. And the backstage props uh, transform into mythical, occult, sacrificial, Inca, temple, paraphernalia. <sighs> Which fan fantasy uh, triggers off of the most thrilling rush of Tutankhamun's lifetime. And his eyes are feasting, yeah, purple. Virgin, mysterious, Machapuchian? Uh textured light of a microcosmic universe behind the theater curtain of normal human perception. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, well, this charming boyhood story uh, causes things. Yeah, the essence of the phenomenon getting turned on for the first time. So he flashes back when Omar first turned him on, unsealed his virgin eyes for the first time. And, uh, yeah, uh, first hookah, huh? underground in Cappadocia. But did this memorable hashish rite of passage, does it always have to be about the hashish? I mean, you know, chicken hatches, and you're there, and you're stuck with a chick for the rest of your life. It's imprinting. Did, did he overly imprint? Did he crush hashish into his brain instead of just, like, enjoy it from time to time? Well... Is that why I I, I, I I hounded Dusty for 30 years? Turn me on to the Balkistani secret of Aunt Pratsing. Well, it's a minor secret, and I want the big one. Preserve the hashish through the dampest winters. Well, Dusty was always trying to... Uh, yeah, Sphinx, yeah. He's, Dusty was always trying to uh, ground me. And I was always trying to fly off into the astral plane, psychedelic paradises, esoteric passageways of awareness. Uh, and Dusty just kept trying to sink my feet into the mud, the dust, the blood and suffering of common people. Try to get me to be one with a what? Common people? Okay, I'm kind of trying that now. No. Oh. 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 
And I said, yeah, Sphinx is now, I mean, he came in really happy, huh? And now he's kind of crashing. Ew.